Greetings and salutations. Welcome to Street Smart Swing. My name is Jamin Jackson, also known as the Galactic Swing Dance Umpire, and I'm super excited to be taking a look at this normalizer competition today. It's been a long day. A lot of people have been telling me about this one. I'm going to give you guys my unabashedly blunt opinion right after I take a look at it. So let's go. I don't know the format, so let's see what happens. Okay. Too many names. I'm just gonna write down which one I like the best. Woo! What was that? Alexia and Dimitri. Oh! They... <laughs> this round is done. This round is done. After, uh, after that little trick that Alexia and Dimitri did, yeah, I think this one, This I'm calling this round for them. It's hard to catch up whenever someone lays down the axe with the crazy round. All right, so for me, that one's Alexia and Dimitri. All right, let's see. What we got? Becca Jacob. Laura Youngboy. These this couple kind of seems a little bit more homogenous. They might, for me, seem like they could potentially dance for the same dance team. So for me, it's a draw. Just. I would give the upper hand to the Swedish couple just a little bit. They seemed a little tighter, um, but for me, they were still kind of a draw. All right, what do we got? Ashley and Mohammed and Sylvia and Mikael or Mikael or Michael? Probably Mikael. Okay, so right now I like Sylvia and Mikkel so far. What they're doing seems a bit tighter, and uh, they're not doing as many tricks for a long period of time. Both look good, but they look a little tighter, so. Yeah, like that turn and that stop. Yeah, that's who I liked too. Sylvia and Michael. All right, who we got? Charlotte and Jethro. And Ming Young and Kim. Okay, Australia versus Korea. Okay, the Australian couple just came out blasting with some tricks. Okay. Now I will, oh, that was good. The Korean couple did something I haven't seen. I like that. That was a good variation on it. But uh, I don't know if it's gonna be enough. Hey! <laughs> Charlotte and Jethro, I think edged, edged it out just a little bit more for me. Just a little bit more. I will say some of those moves I've seen too many times from other people. And that's for me, that's a little annoying, but I still have to give it to them. All right, Audrey and Paul, Nicola and Bobby. Oh! This is like tricks, like tricks, like tricks. I'm gonna to have to go with Audrey and Paul on this one. It, they didn't have as much choreography, but I, I, I liked it just a little bit better. Looks like some of these judges liked it too, so that, that's who I picked. All right, Marie and Aurelia and uh, Olena and Max. Ah, that intro! <laughs> Maria and Aurelia. That just got me. Okay. 
Okay, so right now for me they win. Um, simply because it's tighter, it's more inventive, and the, the space where you would think is transitional space, they're filling it in with really good choreography and it's tight. Yeah, let's see, let's see. Oh, they get another, is that it? They get another round or, yeah, they, that's who I said to Maria and Aurelion. That's tough, that's tough, that's tough. Well, let's see. Um, this is round two. Okay, here we go. Alexia and Dimitri versus Rebecca and Jakob. Okay, tricks. Boom. <laughs> Backflip! I'm sorry, I gotta give it to Dimitri and Alexi on that one. They both, both of these couples rocked that song, but I think they had the edge just a little bit more uh, with some of those bold tricks. He's not a light fella, and he's doing backflips like he's on a trampoline. That was pretty good. Charlotte and Jethro! All right, Sylvia and Mikael. All right, let's see. I think I like Sylvia and Mikael just a little bit more. They're, they are dancing without the tricks just a little bit more for me. I, I have to give it to them on the right. Um, that's just me, that's just me. Well, some of the judges liked it too, but that's just me. All right, uh, Audrey and Paul versus Egle and Tadas. This one is this one is kind of evenly matched. This is more about preference, what you like. Oh, there's something about the, the guy doing the the backflip. I don't know. On this one, I gotta go with Audrey and Paul just a little bit more. I like their set a little bit more. Him sliding on the ground a little bit. I like that. That's me. Most of it's subjective, but this is the only place you will hear my opinion. And why? Okay, whoa, Maria and Aurelian, I saw that, that crazy footwork. Man, I would have loved to compete in this. You know, I, I like going against dancers who can really bring it. I don't like it when it's just too lopsided, where you got one or two couples crushing it and everybody else trying to play catch up. I gotta give it to Maria and Aurelian on this one. They've been consistent um, throughout their entire set. Yeah, just, just crazy good. Crazy, crazy good. The intensity's there. All right, let's see. Round three. All right. Okay. Oh, here we go. Alexia and Dimitri. Italy in the house. Here we go. That's a Count, Count Basie version of Honeysuckle Rolls. I like that quick snap. Not everybody can do that snap. See, not everybody does aerials where you continue to move. Those are harder to do and they require a lot more timing, so I respect those. Yes! Fundamentals, some classic moves. Now, both of these couples are evenly matched when it comes to what they can do, but I think the distribution of the types of movement, oh! <laughs> the distribution and the variety of the movement, I would say is more heavily weighted on Alexia and Dimitri on this one. Even though I think both of these couples can have the technical prowess to, to basically do each other's sets if they had to swap out, but I gotta give the, I gotta give the variety and the overall punch to Dimitri and Alexi on that one. That was rough. That was good. That was good. 
Egle and Todas. Boom. Yes. Yeah, you can't miss an aerial. You gotta hit it on B, and they nailed it. Maria and Aurelia. Yes! Guys! I feel like the real, I feel like the couple on my right, they're doing swing dancing, but I think the couple on my left are dancers, and they happen to be swing dancing. I can see them as individuals, and I also see them as a couple. I think their choreography is tighter, their solo choreography, is a little bit more syncopated not saying that's better but it's harder to do and make look good at the same time so i gotta give it to uh for me aurelion and um i forget his partner's name but for me they were the winner on that one even though they did separate stuff some see, some people are fickle we're gonna talk about that I, i'm not that kind of judge all right alexia and dimitri swing out Tight. All right, Glay and Tadas. Boom. Yes, it's tight. She threw her hand up like that. That was good. All right. Dimitri, Alexia. This is like round 10. Yes. Oh. Oh. Yes. I'm sorry. That won it for me. That won it for me. That's tough. That's tough. That's like someone getting hit by Mike Tyson and everybody else is like, stay down, stay down. Person stumbling. All right, here we go. Uh. Double back flip. All right, here we go. Everybody at home, scream, swing Gotta give it to Alexia and Dimitri on that. There's too much quality that was heavily weighted on their side. Let's talk about it. All right, guys, I gotta tell you straight up, this competition had a clear winner, but it also didn't have a clear winner. And let me tell you what I mean by that, because for me, the first place couple and the second place couple were so close, but the thing that made them separate was the aerials. If the second place couple had a little bit more aerials, and a little bit more inventiveness in the air, for me, they would have won first place. And that second place couple for me is Maria and Aurelian. They had way too much originality. It's funny how I can do this and, and give them a compliment at the same time. 
Their originality with their syncopations and dancing by itself for me was better than everybody else. And my first place couple, obviously, they, they took it over the top for me with their inventive aerials, but I would say the floor work was a little bit more derivative. It reminded me of like Max and Ani, uh, many other couples that did aerials for maybe five, 10 years ago, right? Kind of the same stylistic cues, but they had enough inventiveness in their, in their aerials to give them the upper hand. So those two couples, Dimitri and Alexia for me were, were first and Maria and uh, Aurelian were first also, but on the floor. So it's a weird thing. Like if you just switched the things that I felt that were missing on both couples, that would be like the ultimate couple, right? It was awesome. I got to tell you guys, there's, there's something about being a judge that is really difficult and requires a lot of transparency. It's weird how certain people are, certain leaders like to be able to have the mechanism that they're using to lead you not disclosed. They like to like not tell you. I'm not that kind of person. I like to tell people exactly what it is I want them to know so that they can meet the expectations that I'm looking for. So when I'm judging these competitions, I'm obviously looking at control. I'm looking to see how well they can master the technique. That being in its most sim simplest explanation is can I see the leader doing the traditional Lindy Hop roll? Can I do the followers doing traditional Lindy Hop following? And they're not fighting each other in that process. Sometimes you can see couples, and I saw a few of them in this competition where they were dancing and they were kind of fighting each other, where they both knew what was gonna happen. They both had a leader mindset since it was choreographed and you could see it was a bit jarring in certain places. But certain couples have that better than others. And then the, the great part is the timing. With this kind of choreography, this is hard to do because you got to put your best stuff in the right spot in the right time and it's really tough. It's really one of my favorite types of choreographed competitions. I prefer it more than the actual like showcase. It's just enough. But I think with this being online was really difficult because you're missing that component that really adds more energy for the dancers and that's the roaring audience that's there because we can feel the, the energy and I'm in here hollering in my own house but that I miss that energy being with other people. So. Control is important, timing is important, and in this case, the arrangement of the dancer's choreography is important to an extent. Because I can't judge them too much for what their intentions are for their choreography, but I can tell you if it was tight or not, I can tell you that it maybe did not make the music elevate to a higher level where I could feel it more emotionally. I could tell you that, but I honestly couldn't judge it and say it was good or bad. I could say, well, I didn't like it. <laughs> and in most of the cases, all the rest of the dancers had sets that made me just maybe want to take a restroom break in the movie theater, right? You know what I mean? It's like the, the fight before the big fight. But the first two, the two couples, first place and second place were literally, I was thinking in my mind what it's like. When I saw the movie Inception, I was like, this is amazing. This is amazing. There were so many parts of it that I liked. It was just flamboyant in the right spots. And then I just realized that's the movie I go to. I just keep watching it over and over and over. And that's kind of like Dimitri and, and Alexia. They had the aerials where just, I want to go back and watch it over and over and over. You know, I put that movie on right before I go to bed and I fall asleep in the same spots. And then when I watched Maria and Aurelian, they were kind of like Tenet. When I went and saw the Tenet movie, this came out like 10 years after Inception. I'm like, it kind of has that Inception vibe. I'm not really sure what it is. But when I got into the theater, I was like, ooh, this is going to be good. And the problem was, is I didn't know when I could go to the restroom. I was like, is, is, this the, is this the high point? Can I go out real quick and just go get some popcorn, go to the bathroom? No. There were, there were points in the Tenet movie where I couldn't, I was uncertain about where those pinnacle points were. And it just kind of had me going like this. So I was left a little hollow emotionally. And I could say that's what I felt when I watched Maria and Aurelian, they had spurts of ingenuity that I thought were more complex than the first place couple, but I felt emotionally disconnected because they missed certain points in the music, the, the fulcrum of their dancing, that, that wonderful aerial that can embellish so much emotion at the, if it's placed at the right time. I feel that they were missing that. So that's all I had to say. Both of those couples for me are the winners of this competition. I feel like there was a, a heightened sense of 
uh, a need to prove oneself. And I love that healthy nature of competition. Everybody in this dance community is going to be forgotten in the future unless you are putting something out for the music or if you're putting something out for the dancing and it's recorded where people can actually follow it. So get keep that in your mind and let that drive you. If you want to make an impact on the dance or on the music, let it all be something that outlives you and let it bless people that may not even be born yet. That's the idea. So don't just get into competitions to think, oh, I'm just here just to win right now and to be the hot thing of the month. Trust me, you'll be forgotten. People will forget who you are and that's just the way life is. But with these couples, I respect them enough because it seems like they're putting in the hard work to, to leave a legacy for the art form and for themselves. So I love that. What do you guys think? Who do you think was the winner of the competition? You heard my opinion on it. That's what I felt. That's the emotion I felt from watching this. Um, let me know in the comment section below. If you guys haven't started swing dancing yet, I encourage you to check out my free courses below. I got a ton of free courses to help you get launched where you're at right now and you get a chance to see some of my original work. I've spent over 10,000 hours to invest in Lindy Hop. I didn't want to just learn how to do it and just travel and teach around. I really wanted to contribute to the art form as a dancer. So I preserved a lot of those original ideas in my school. So check it out if you like that. With that being said, guys, I look forward to hearing your comments below. If I don't see your comments below, hopefully I get a chance to see some of you guys in my class online. Take care.